Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Surviving Mars here on the Wooden Otter. Today, we're going back into my second attempt at the hardest percentage uh, colony challenge, if you want to call it that. Uh, we're going to be working on our colony. Last time we attempted this, we had a serious deficit of rare metals. Uh, we ended up running out of electronics, uh, everyone almost starved, and then everyone got too old to have babies. And our colony failed. This time, are low. I made Sector sure stand. to place my colony somewhere where rare metals are abundant. And hopefully, we're not going to fall into the same pitfalls we did last time, where everyone gets too old to have babies, etc., etc. So let's just jump right into it and see how we can expand our base and get some colonists here, hopefully. Once we get that ramp done, we'll have some access to some additional research down here. Research complete. Milestone yes! Complete. Research complete. Superior cables. Sweet. That's great. Now we're working on superior pipes. That's awesome. What is this? Logi hydrosynthesis. Ooh, I can get the polymers factory, and then I won't need to import a polymers factory. That's great. Oh, I've got no mechanical parts. Ah, uh, you know what that means. We gotta get a cargo rocket back. So here's what we need. In order to have a self-sustaining colony, I need a machine parts factory and an electronics factory. I'm going to research the polymers factory myself. I want these small ones. And then I need some of these. I should actually just get a bunch of these, shouldn't I, just to hold myself over. Ooh, and if I got a transport, that would be great. Can I get one of these? Oh, I can! Ooh, I'll have one of each. That's amazing. Okay, that's actually... That's probably the best. We're going to launch with that. We're going to get a bunch of machine parts, electronics, polymers, a couple drones, a transport, a commander, and those buildings that I need. Nice. A uh, nice... Oh, we're waiting on this because we don't have any machine parts. So we really got to get the machine parts back here. Infrastructure, landing pad. Let's drop a landing pad. Do I want this? I could put it here. But actually what I want to do is put it over here, I think. So that I can get my rocket as a temporary temporary like building drone controller is this what I want to do no because I have a controller I have a controller coming an RC controller so let's just drop it here this takes metals, this takes mechanical parts, this takes metals, half a mechanical part, and a mechanical part. Man, I'm gonna blast through mechanical parts in this game, aren't I? So I learned from a Reddit post that putting a large wind turbine is actually better because it's the same in terms of costs and maintenance and production on a per area basis, but it costs the same to upgrade the large wind turbine with the polymer blades as it does the small wind turbine. So it's actually, you get more bang for your buck upgrading a large wind turbine than you do a small one. So there's no reason to use small wind turbines. Thanks, Reddit. Man, we really just need our rocket to show. Oh, it's here, it's here, great. Boop, come on down. should work on... Whoa, that's fast on the uh, fast setting. Alright, so he's got auto-gather on. 
gather all that stuff. Let's see here, production, a polymers factory, takes workers. I can build these. Polymers has no demand. Machine parts has 0.3, electronics is 0.1. So let's start building up some dome equipment. Man, I wish I had the farm unlocked. stuff. As soon as this rocket is fueled up, we'll send it back for people. We're already at 46 out of 80. That's great. This thing's going to pump out 12 per soul. Now we'll place the small electronics factory and the small machine parts factory right where we can use them. There's that. Here's I kind of like that. There you go. Those two things. Zoop. We're gonna go up. I'm gonna get people here in no time. And then if I keep my people happy. When I pick my people, I need to have, like, everyone needs to be sexy. Everybody. Because I just need to cram as many... Alright, I'm pausing. I need to cram as many people... As many babies into this... <laughs> into this uh, thing as I possibly can. Return to Earth! Go! Zoop! Peace out, bring me back some colonists. All right. My rocket ship is currently in orbit around Earth, awaiting passengers. Okay, I got rid of all of the colonists on here. We're gonna filter it, and we are going to start with, I want adults, not middle-aged, Sure as heck not senior, but not youth either. Oh wait, I do want young colonists. Like I don't want middle-aged, able to work in all buildings. Yeah, I want youth, but I don't want children and I don't want seniors. We'll apply that, and then we'll go filter, no specialization obviously. No preference in sex. I do want six males and females, though. Although maybe I want more females. Perks. Don't care about celebrities. I want... Yeah, we don't have any genius, so it doesn't matter. I want sexy. We need sexy. And I want workaholic. And what is, what is the one that... Uh, is it composed? All sanity losses are halved? Yeah, that one's a good one. No comfort penalties when eating unprepared food or having a residence. Eh, nah. Lose less health without food, water, oxygen, or when living in an unpowered dome. So, yeah, that'll, that'll help too. Sure. Apply. And then let's see if there's any other filters. Flaws. I want... I want no flaws at all. And I want quirks. Uh, has decreased comfort when living near a ranch and won't work in such buildings. Has increased comfort when away from ranches. Okay, well, I don't have any ranches, so sure. So let's get rid of all these. I'm going to pick my own people. Thank you very much. So, first of all, 
Can I go filter and like reapply these? Okay, let's see what they actually picked. Sexy, that's good. Everyone should have the sexy thing. So if you don't have sexy, get right on out of here. Okay, so these are all my sexy people. Now let's see if there's any sexy people on the list still. We'll take all of the sexy people no matter what. Okay. So this is all the people who have sexy as a trait. Now let's go back up. I want workaholics. Because workaholics are awesome. Plus, if you put all workaholics on a building, then you can do a high working, like a, a tough working condition, extra work, and it literally like doubles their output. It's nuts. Let's look at the, I know I have 13 out of 12 here, but let's look at the genders here. One male, one female. Four out of 12 people are middle-aged, ugh. That's 12 people. I've got a bunch of workaholics, which is great. And I've got a bunch of sexy people, which is also great. And a bunch of enthusiasts too, which is perfect. Okay, we're gonna launch. We've got a shuttle coming in. We've got research happening. We've got ramps and roads being built. This is great. I hope you are enjoying this video following along with my highest difficulty percentage colony uh, run through surviving Mars. I know I am. Uh, I think we're doing a lot better than we were last time. That is for sure. If you guys did enjoy this video and you want to follow along to see what happens next, feel free to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, leave a comment down below, and I will catch you guys next time here on Surviving Mars on the Wooden Otter. Peace. Dome's falling apart already.